right here where I turned to go to the park, that big round thing on the top of that pole is a tornado siren. So if there's ever you know a chance of a tornado or one's close, that will go off. And that's a siren that is pretty dang loud and you can hear it for miles. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. And now I'm turning into the park here. which is only two miles from my house. And we'll look out towards the gazebo. I see two cars. My friend Ryan is supposed to be here with the drone and uh, he's gonna chase my plane around a little bit. So we'll get some cool footage of that for you guys. My friends are packing up. They fly quads. And they said, I want to see something cool. We love seeing cool stuff. Ron, you want to give him the tour? Let's see the tour. What have we got going on here? Alright, these are my friends that fly the quads and have filmed me flying around. So let's see what he's got going on here. So this is just, it's a real humble solar setup. But I got a solar panel on the roof here of the uh, Scion. Hold on, we got to get it off. We sure do have a solar panel. All right, yeah. all right. And, this, and the wires leading to. Yep. And so that's just a hundred watt panel up here leading down, right here behind the tail light, and I've got access to it on the inside here. It comes up to a solar charge controller, and these are. Uh, okay, you can show that there. Yeah. Um, I can cycle through the different functions, but I just these are two old car batteries here, and they're in parallel, hooked up to an inverter. So if I turn that on and uh, turn this on. I've now got 500 watts of continuous power there that I can pull. 110. Yeah, 110. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I use that for charging ba uh, batteries on the go and uh, anything else. It'll power, you know, a little box fan and a few other little things. Look at that. Yeah. Man, that's all like right. This. All from the solar. So how long, how long you say continuously? Uh, yeah, if the sun's out, I mean, it depends on what I'm pulling. But we can look at how much charge we're getting here. I can select on this a few times. And this shows our panel voltage is at 14 volts. And I'm right now getting 1.6 amps from the sun. And my battery voltage is 13.6. And our load right now is 0.4 amps. So just powering the inverter here. 0.4 amp draw just from the inverter. Yep. So that's how you can charge your batteries right there. 110 voltage. You can uh, bypass the inverter and I have an XT60 hooked directly up to the batteries. So if you want to minimize even, you know, less, it's just DC to DC instead of having to convert it from AC to DC. You can charge packs that way. So put out the back. All right, taking off left to the right. Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plains. Well, it's Saturday. It's 145 degrees, I think, out here on the asphalt. Feels like 160, but we're having a good time. Got some friends of mine that came out with their FPV airplanes and quads, and they've been flying around and chasing my plane and filming it. Maybe they'll get that footage to me in a few days or something and I'll get it up for you guys to see it. So it's really neat. And I hope you guys thought that little setup he had with the solar panel and the car batteries in the trunk of his car was, was awesome. He, he said he could plug his charger into it and charge all day long with that solar panel and, and those two 12 volt car batteries in the, in the trunk set up. I thought that was quite something. All part of the hobby and having fun with it.
crowd has let me down. It said four miles an hour, maybe five. When I got here, it was close to probably 12. That's what it feels like right now. Well, it gets going quick when you're going downwind. Hey there. Hey. So you like the airplanes? Yep. Hey, are your feet hot? <laughs> You want to see it? Come over here in, in the shade. My name is Markle. Say what? My name is Markle. Markle? Mar Marshall? I like it. Cool name. That's a good name for a pilot. Yep. Maybe you can. Maybe you'll play with one of these one day. Yep. Oh, your rocket ship? Yeah. Whoa. You have one? Awesome. All right, guys, we got a rocket launch. Let's get a let's get a picture of it on one piece before it takes off here. All right, here's the here's the launch system. Ah, two babies. Two babies. Okay. Mission control. <laughs> you ready? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just let me know. Uh, how long is the launch? Uh, how long will it go up? This will go up for a good bit. Alright. Uh, go the flight time up, what, about four seconds? Probably a little bit. Uh, um, I think this one, honestly, is more like six or six. Probably six or eight. All right. Six, yeah, six, six. Oh, it might go right now. Ready for uh, what we about to do? Yep. Mission control is ready. All right, ready. All right, let's go. Press the button. Count three, two, one, go. Go. <laughs> well, that son of a gun was gone. Hey. Oh, and it's parachuting down. Awesome. I don't see it. I lost it. It's right there. It's up there about 800 feet still. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's way up there. Come on, let's go. I don't see it. It's right here. Yeah, it's closing. Well, you can't see it. Towards, towards the uh, steeplechase. By the tornado siren. I mean, it's going to land in the, in the horse track. Oh, no shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over Old Hickory Boulevard. Yeah, it, it's going on the other side of Old Hickory. <laughs> 